I, I don't know how many times I looked upon this man with pure disgust in my eyes. This man, real deal, got the home. Oh, how many patties? One, two, three, four, five patties on that. Damn, bro. Apple cheesy. Butter cheesy. You're putting cheese on top of the cheese that you just put cheese on? More cheese, now. bro? What is this guy? Airsoft fatty? What is this guy doing? Exactly why it slaps. Look at that. It's dude. Oh, man, dude. There's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Shake the that's off it. Tonight. We're looking at dogs tomorrow. So what do you, you, you can't say like, yeah, that's it for the night and then show me some milk. Dude, what is up with this guy? What am I missing something right now? Like the fact that this guy keeps going like that's all, that's all we're having tonight. Anyway, so I just had to go get this other thing before we ended the night. I'm still not hungover. See you all later. Dude, you can't. That's not how did you not just say that? I swear I just heard him go, yeah, that's it for the night. And then just bring up two more foods that he that he body slammed. Oh, this is what a fat girl eats in day, hungover edition. Woke up this morning for some toast, I'm in it. I don't know why I didn't eat last night before I started drinking. What a horrible mistake. I felt like shit this morning. The toast was grim, to be honest. I had toast, custard creams, and a big cup of tea with sugar in it. Don't normally have sugar, but I thought... Is this a passive ability from anybody in the UK? Do you guys even have to drink to become hungover? Why is it every single time I watch a What I Eat In A Day video from somebody from the UK, I, it always starts off the same. Oh no, I'm terribly hung over. I couldn't help myself. I just drank all night. So I obviously have to body slam copious amounts of calories. I just spewed, I just spewed tons and tons of sugar in this water to ensure that I get rid of this monstrous headache from the, the amount of the amount of alcohol that I've drunk. Isn't it already bad enough that these people have terrible, disgusting diets in and of itself? Why do you have to pile on an, an addictive, debilitating condition also, like it, drinking alcohol on top of it? Why is it always like this? You guys need to get... Some, I get it. It's probably real depressing. I saw the, the black slop that you guys put on toast for some reason. I don't know what that is, but it looks disgusting. You guys... Put mayonnaise on everything. I know that the, the the sky there is like perpetually depressing. Like it's a Ryan Gosling movie from 2007 or before. Like I understand. It's probably like really depressing to, to be over there, right? And and then to top it off, you guys' language just, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I understand you guys, in, you were the inception, the, the, the people that created the language of English. But for some reason, I struggle so heavily um, whenever I listen to people from the UK, especially from people from Scotland, Medui. You guys, like, what's up with that? Why are these, like, the places at which these, these, these languages are derived from, yet, anytime I hear you guys talk, I have to, like, listen very, very carefully to try to pick out the particular types of language points that you guys have. But, anyway, if you guys didn't hear what she said, she said she poured some sugar in some water to get rid of her hangover. I don't know how that's gonna help, but, um, you know what, dude? I mean, at this point... <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. These people are literally perpetually unhealthy, so. This was grim, to be honest. I had toast, custard creams, and a big cup of tea with sugar in it. Don't normally have sugar, but I thought, oh, I bloody well need it this morning. Just get my blood sugars back up again, you know what I mean? It's just like any excuse. <laughs> it's just any excuse to eat food, honestly. Is that really what it comes down to? Like, you guys go out to drink, so the next day, you guys can, like, eat copious amounts of calories as an excuse because you went out to eat? How are you going to reward one bad behavior with another bad behavior? Like, go ahead. Feel free to drink your alcohol alcohols and things such and so forth eat your disgusting terrible foods like i don't have a problem with people eating really really bad foods i just really hope that you guys don't do it as much as you should or as much as these people do right you understand anyway i probably drank about six cups of tea for lunch i had kfc uh, should have been drinking like six cups of water man just if you're if you're telling me that you were struggling to get food in your neck but then i see you body slamming some chicken tenders that i know you bought from a particular establishment Again, you know I mean? given the I fact that i'm looking at it popcorn popcorn chicken you can't lie to me okay what you should have been doing is just opening up that tap and just putting your mouth right underneath it and just uh, 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 swallowing down that water because I feel like that's probably the best thing for people when it comes to, because like that's what I've heard the most, is that when you're hungover, I've never had the experience of being hungover since I don't really drink alcohol. I've never, mm, I've drunk alcohol before, but I don't really like it. When people have told me, they go, David, and when I'm hungover, I always ask these people, what do you do in order to alleviate the hungoverness? Most people tell me, water. Indulge in the sweet liquid sustenance known as water, glaze your throat, ensure that you're hydrated, and then that will, like, I don't know, purposely drain out the excess disgustingness from the alcohol the night before. So that's usually what I would go for. I could be wrong. Somebody can let me know down below. But these people, for some reason, always remedy their hungoverness with, 
I don't know, greasy deep fried foods. And I understand that it's probably really easy to get these foods. But you know what's really interesting? Here in America, right? We do have really greased up, disgusting foods here. But oftentimes, I feel like in the UK, you guys like really, really incentivize it. Whereas in America, you'll probably find somebody eating McDonald's or maybe a donut and things such and so forth, right? Coffees. You guys just love deep fried chickens and french fries and things like that. We drank about six cups of tea. For lunch, I had KFC. Uh, mash was round. Yeah, nobody here in America eats KFC, okay? Like, if somebody's eating at KFC, that is the bottom of the barrel when it comes to food, okay? I'm not here to shit on KFC. I'm sure they have good food there. But the last time I was at a KFC, I saw a homeless man inside the KFC on the floor. Not joking with you. And the floor is any KFC. I, without failure. I've always walked into KFCs. And the floor is just coated with grease. And it's like, I don't know, like there's a 50-50 chance that you might or might not die because you might slip and fly off behind you and hit your head on whatever, I don't know, whatever's there, like the, 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 the cardboard box that they're using as tables. But they are perpetually dirty. I've never walked into a KFC that didn't have straws on the floor. The drink machine wasn't working. There's like... Three, three dudes behind the counter. They don't want to be there. None of them wearing gloves. They're perpetually depressed. It's a vile place. It really is. It's probably, oh, I can't say that. I was going to say it's worse than the DMV. There's literally nothing worse than the DMV. The D you can go into the DMV and have an appointment, right? And they'll say, make sure you show up by, and you'll, they'll say like 545. You show up at 4, right? Because you want to make sure you get there early because you know how they'd be, they be playing games. And you'll wait there until 7. And then they'll go, you'll see your number finally go up and they don't even call your number and they shuffle to the next person. You go up to the, the security guard like, hey man, um, my number. And they'll go, oh, okay, just wait here. 20 minutes later, they finally call your shit up there. And then you, they all they tell you is like, oh, you forgot to fill this out. Come up after you're done with this. I'm like, damn, what, what did I not fill out? What did I not fill out? And then that's just a constant process. It's the most extraordinary. I don't know what is going on with the DMV. I don't know why it's like a continuous place of hell, but it's not worse than the DMV. There are a few places worse than the There are a few, very few places that are worse than the DMV. Anyway. No, chicken was mostly rank as well. Like it just weren't that nice. The chip rank is like really not good, right? Is that a word that you guys use to describe something that's not good? Because I remember I watched a movie. I watched Braveheart when I was like nine. And I think they use the word rank to describe something that was also disgusting. So I'm going to probably go with that. Decent and I love that dip. And a couple pieces of chicken, but the rest had to go in the bin. Can go again, just to get them blood sugar levels. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> it's an excuse. It's an excuse, man. What do you mean blood sugar? You're already eating tons and tons of food. Like French fries count as carbs, which are sugars. But whatever, dude. Okay, go ahead. Indulge in the... I, you know, I really, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I really disapprove when people drink orange juice. I know that it tastes good. I know it's good for you and stuff like that in the sense of like, it's orange juice, right? No, it's not. It's really not. It's just bottomless calories. I don't care what anybody says. Like if you pour a cup of orange juice, how many calories do you think that is? This cup of orange juice, probably two, 300 calories. Not even joking with you. Not even joking with you. It's just sugar. It's just sugar water. And oftentimes when people say, and I go, why are you drinking this orange juice? They always go, I'm eating, I'm drinking it because I need the vitamin C or I need the vitamin D or whatever the fuck is in there. And I always go, you don't have vitamins? Like, why are you, why are you sitting here trying to justify the fact that you're drinking something so high in calories because you're getting some vitamins from it? I don't give a fuck. That doesn't even make sense to me. Why do you think that's like somebody going like, oh, mm, it's like, why are you sucking? Why are you sucking this guy off if you're straight? I'm just trying to get liquid sustenance from the tip of his penis from the, the the ejaculation that's gonna hit the back of my mouth couldn't you just drink water instead of sucking a guy off like there are better ways to get the nutrition that you need instead of just drinking you know what i'm talking about like it just doesn't make sense to me oftentimes like these people justify their diets in the worst ways possible like go ahead and drink your orange juice but just own it. Just fucking own it. I know you're not drinking it because you want the vitamins. You're drinking it because it's orange juice and you like orange juice. Just say, just say that. Don't say, oh, it's vitamin D. It's not vitamin D. It's not, okay? Fucking take multivitamin. We'll back up. What kind of fucking weirdo opens their crisps like this, please? Nobody. And the fact that you outlined it in that particular way get, brings me to the knowledge that you're doing it on purpose. Oh my God. I can't even believe what I'm looking at too. I'm so glad we went back. This is not even real orange juice either. She's drinking it from a can. You're drinking orange juice from a can? You disgusting, vile. That is, uh, oh, it's not even, you could, Sunny D would have been better than this. Whew, 
Hold up. Pango again, just to get them blood sugar levels back up. What kind of fucking weirdo opens their crisps like this? I'm please? sorry, dude. Anyway, bag cheese and crisps. This and woman is rage baiting. Like anything that she po puts out, it's always consistently making my head hurt. Everything she eats is disgusting. I've never seen a video from this woman and she didn't eat something in a day. It might go well. Like she might go, I had some oatmeal this morning. And then, it, then, 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 then she'll go, but I had some good lean meat proteins, right? And at the end of the day, she'll go, but you know, I had to get a Mackey's. I had to get a Mackey's really quickly. And so I got a large soda. And then I also got, you know, I had to go to the KFC around the corner as well. It's always, always like that. And some chicken fingers for dinner. It's not even good. These are chicken fingers? Okay, whatever, dude. They don't look like chicken fingers. Make sure you're following me for more dolls. I don't know who's watching this woman and getting joy. Like, it, can somebody let me know? I feel like it's got to be like a fetish thing, right? Because when I watch this woman, I'm always disappointed. I'm always like, if I had an appetite, I always ruin my appetite. It's not the same. Sometimes you watch people eat and you're like, oh, okay, this like makes me want to eat. When I see this woman eat, I get disgusted. I feel like... I feel like a sickness in my stomach and it almost kind of makes me feel like I shouldn't eat if that makes any sense because I'm watching this woman suffer tremendously while justifying eating these atrocious foods consistently day in day out and for some reason people watch her and they love watching her don't get me wrong I hate you. I hate watch things all the time I love rom-coms specifically early 2000s rom-coms because they're all the same movie technically they just got a new hot guy in each one of them and I don't really care about the woman oftentimes in the movie because she's really in a, ir irreplaceable but the guys are always the same but they're different in the sense of like how they look I love the Matthew McConaughey's I love the Ryan Gosling's I love the Chris uh Chris who is he uh, uh Chris Evans all these guys are so good in these romantic comedies dude and I find so much joy watching them hangover needs to go too loud jesus man that you know at what point in time like do you think we'll ever look back at this moment and go i cannot believe that tiktok existed given the fact that there were literally fat women on the internet consuming large amounts of calories while saying they only consume those calories based off of a hangover to the mario kart theme song why the mario kart theme song is it like a sprint is it like a race or something like that a race to get to the end of your life quickly Jeez, man. What is up with you guys in the UK and having these lip fillers? Like, I get it. Lip fillers are cool now because everybody wants big, voluptuous, big, giant lips. But over there in the UK, you guys have such weird style decisions. Like, for some reason, the lips always match the skin. I don't think that's a good idea. I just don't. Because sometimes, when you're on public, right? I've seen this quite a bit. When you're on public and you see somebody further down the street maybe and you go what the fuck is that person wearing clothes and then you get closer and you get closer and you get closer and you realize oh the leggings or the pants or the shirt is skin colored to the exact texture to the exact undertone of that person's skin and then i feel like everybody's thinking that same thing you're like dude that person's not even wearing pants but then you walk up and you realize the same thing with the lips and i always see these people with like the same color skin lips and i always go do you not have lips? I have to look really hard to see if you guys have lips or not. And then you also emphasize the lips with like lip injections, which is fine. I'm fine. Like whatever. As long as they don't look really, really weird and just like not walking outside like this. If that's you, that's weird. Don't do that. Okay. It looks uncomfortable to have big lips like that. Okay. Whatever, man. I don't know. We're going off for some reason here. <laughs> It's just like, it seems uncomfortable. It seems uncomfortable to have big lips like that. Can somebody help me down below in the comment section? If you or you know somebody with lip injections or lip fillers and they started off from ba like baseline of zero, which would be me. I don't have very many lips. At least my top lip is like almost non-existent. My bottom lip is kind of a little bit there, but I've never had the biggest, most voluptuous lips. But let me, let me be honest with you for a second. Being a dude, there's really not much standards when it comes to guys with having big lips unless you're a black dude and in that case i guess you just lick your lips 24 7 i've seen that quite a bit of times yeah the amount of times i've went on tiktok live before and i've watched black dudes seducing women in their chats which is always entertaining because all they do is consistently lick their lips and they go like this yeah i love that shit yeah hit me up in the dms and stuff like that not all black dudes okay obviously i'm not racist right but I see these guys doing it, and I always comment the same thing. I always go, you need some Vaseline because them lips are about to get dry. And you know what they do every single time? They always have Vaseline. They always do, and they go, yeah, yeah, you right, you right. That's fine. That's great. I have Vaseline too. You know why I have Vaseline? 
because I've dated black women and I'm friends with black men and they put me on to the fact that Vaseline is the be all end all when it comes to lip procedures, when it comes to uh, hydration, um, nourishment and things such and so forth. And we got the aloe vera version, which was really expensive. I bought it at the Chinese dollar store for $5. Did I get scammed? Probably not. It's a big one. It's a big jar, but it fell on the floor. So the cap is kind of like broken now. <laughs> When did McDonald's change their boxes? Dude, you got a nine piece? What is a nine piece? I've, hold up. I've never seen a nine piece. Is that when real? Did nine chicken McNuggets? Nine? I didn't know they sold them in nine. I didn't, like, I, okay. It's probably a thing to get nine chicken nuggets, but maybe you get it by accident or you ask them specifically just for nine, but I didn't know they sold them actually with nine this seems disrespectful to me uh, okay whatever donald's change their boxes gotta get a coke obviously you gotta get a coke and a ketchup as well you guys love mickey d's man i've, I've noticed that no chips as i don't like i really don't like the Mc, the mcnuggets from from mcdonald's they kind of look like if if it were me they look like some roman slabs on the street you ever you ever like watch um, like old documentaries or something like that when they, they talk about the, the, the structure of society and how they built um, different roads and things like that in Rome. These chicken McNuggets look like the tiles or the, the concrete slabs or whatever you want to call those, like the rocks on the ground they use for their roads. Being healthy. Yeah, being healthy with a nine piece. How much is a nine piece? <laughs> a 10 piece is like 500 calories, so I guess maybe 20, 30 calories off the top. But she probably destroyed it with the, the ketchups, man. Ketchups do add up. Um, everything they eat is either from... Everything they eat is either eaten out or they're cooking it in the air fryer. Ew, cheesy. <laughs> you didn't even try, dude. You didn't even try. And I know you don't wash that air fryer, dude. This is the residue from the other fucking cheese. This, this is the residue from the other thing that you cooked in the air fryer. The cheese is not cheesy. It's fermented. This shit looks like it's been sitting on the table for like 45 minutes. And you finally, you were like, oh, yeah, I forgot I had this shit. So spicy chicken wrap, if you can call it that. Whatever, dude. It's just a chicken patty you probably got at the grocery store. Garlic bread. Sorry, garlic bread. And mini potato waffle with ketchups. All right, man. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's also like you guys can do better, man. You could do way better than this. Toasted in the air fryer. Toasted in the air fryer. Somebody told me that they don't even have a, a toaster, that they just use an air fryer to toast everything. Is that something people do? Fire for perfect. Nesquik. Dude, we don't eat Nesquiks here. I haven't seen that bunny since I was like five. Ew, cheesy. Can I look at this bunny one more time? Toasted in the air fryer. I have not seen this bunny in so long is this common over there in the uk somebody let me down know down below in the comment section this this meal you know what speaking of being five or six this meal looks like something a five or six year old eat a nest quick milk solid chocolate whatever these things are and then <laughs> a, a juice box and buttered bagel that you made in the air fryer this sounds like something a five-year-old or a six-year-old would make and they could probably do that shit confidently given the fact that you don't really have to do anything for perfect toastiness. Okay. <laughs> Damn, dude, what is your diet? Do you not know how to cook anything? Do you, do you not have like an oven or like a place to store food? Why is your all the food that you eat some form of carbs and then cheese? Okay, and a Fanta, of course. Yeah, gotta have a Fanta. Kinder Brownie. And an Addy Fanta. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on. Don't be sorry. Be better. This is gross. This is absolutely gross. You're buying prepackaged stuff from... I don't know about you guys, okay? If you go... If you come to America and you go to a bodega and you go, let me get the brownie. That brownie has been sitting there for three years. Maybe even more. Probably me, maybe even more. And the quantity and the quality of the food that's at these bodegas, these particular convenience stores, these corner stores that you're going, are not good quality. I remember when I was mm, 15 or something like that, and I had went down to one of these bodegas with me and my friends, right? It was me, a black guy, and a Muslim guy. What kind of combination is that? I don't know. It's like a Neapolitan ice cream. That's what it was. Like it was Neapolitan. We all just walked in like a Neapolitan ice cream. And we had no money because we were 15. And we put our money together, and we all managed to get this drink. That was 50 cents, a big drink. I got the blue one. He got the red one. My friend got the purple one, right? 
um, black friend got the purple one and we popped it open and we thought oh man it's summertime we're getting we're getting soda for cheap this is gonna be great pop the top and there was no like there was none of that and I took a swig and I swear it was like I took a swig of the soda and it almost kind of felt like the soda just evaporated on my mouth like the soda just like you know what I'm talking about like it was gone. Like at the moment it touched my mouth and I went to go take that sip, I started choking. I was like, <coughs> like it was dry. You know what I'm talking about? I felt like when I drank the liquid, it wasn't liquid. You know, it was like I just had sucked down like a tumbleweed or something like that. And all my friends were saying the same thing. So we took the drinks and we poured them out on the sidewalk. And when I tell you the liquid, when it hit the ground, it didn't leave like, you know, when it's you know, when water hits the floor, it leaves like a, you know, a stain, a, a splash, right? There was no splash. The water like immediately turned to dust before it can even coat the ground. And it, it just like evaporated instantly. I don't think I was drinking liquid. I don't think it was real liquid. I don't know what it was. Some kind of magical serum, some kind of magical elixir, if you can even call it that, that was like a facade. It was like air that was condensed so hard that it gave off the illusion of being water or some kind of liquid when in reality it wasn't liquid at all. But... The point I'm making is if you're going to a bodega here in America, the foods that you're going to get there are either going to have been there for five or six years. They're going to be crusted. They're going to be fermented or they're not even real. God, bro, this woman eats like she's fucking. This woman eats like a kid that went on a field trip. You know, like your parents just threw in stuff into the into the bag. You know, you 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 argued with your mom. You're like, I just want the I just want the lunchable. I just want the lunchable. No, we're not getting you the lunchable. Fuck the lunchable. Lunchable's too much. It's five ninety nine. Fuck that shit. You just come to throw in random shit at the house, and then they just throw in random shit at the house. When in reality, that's way better than the fucking lunchable. You look cooler. I'll give you that. You look cooler with the lunchable, but nobody. You're not eating a lot of food, dude. I can. But when I was like nine. And you gave me a Lunchable, I can eat five of those Lunchables, dude, and still be hungry. Lunchables are gay. And you know what? I know a man, solid man, big man, in the year 2024, and he eats Lunchables religiously. Like, he has a refrigerator full of Lunchables, and he just goes, I'm hungry, and he'll literally go into his fridge, and he'll literally eat nine of them. Like, nine Lunchables will take them out like this, and he'll just put them down, he opens them all up, simultaneously right has them all laid out across the table and while he's doing his work he'll just start eating them like cook putting the the sandwiches together and he'll get the pizza one put it out i mean that's what he wants to do but sometimes i look at this guy and i go bro you know you could probably just like eat a better food like a better meal that would actually fill you up that would actually do something more but you know what sometimes people just can't be helped <laughs> Sometimes, yes, thank God, water. But, you know, having water at 11, your body the whole day is just going, please, water. Like that one episode of SpongeBob with, where Patrick was like, what is this place? When he was in Patrick's house, uh, uh, sorry, not Patrick, Sandy's um dome, right? It's like that. I could never just eat one packet. True. Got a, damn, she said four? Hold up, bro. It doesn't look good. I'm going to keep it a bucket shoot. It doesn't look good. I you know could what I'm never about. just eat. She said four. Pickled onions, walk, wakers, walkers. She had four of these bags. Four bags. Why didn't she just buy the family size at that point? One packet. Gotta have four. Gotta have the chocolate bar, of course. <laughs> Damn. And jelly beans? Damn. That ain't even jelly beans. She didn't even show off the jelly beans. Chocolate bar. Oh, fuzzy pencils and jelly beans. Okay. These are fuzzy pencils. It looks like fuzzy strawberry flavored ones, but okay. And then, of course, the jelly beans. Damn, you guys have some luxury jelly beans. Our jelly beans are anorexic. That looks gross. That looks dehydrated. I love loads of ketchup. Damn. Damn. Ugh. Wait. What is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why are you calling it tomato sauce? This is ketchup, right? You literally just called it ketchup. Ketchup. Why are you calling it tomato sauce? Okay. Tomatoes, tomatoes, I guess, dude. Um, I'm struggling to find... I want to know how much ketchup she buys in a month, dude. This woman must be killing a fucking jar in a week, dude. Look at this fucking shit. She's coating that shit up. It makes sense. Look how dry that shit is, dude. This shit's like beef jerky. This shit's drier than your girlfriend when you tell her you got a Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Yo, 
damn this woman's about to open her mouth after she take a bite out of everything and just go <laughs> tumbleweeds flying out clint eastwood's in the background what is that thing damn, you guys can't help yourselves you just can't that shit is greased up damn that shit is greased up Didn't even open properly. For sauces is needed. Damn, dude, this woman real deal loved the ketchup. You gonna put ketchup on this too? Fried rice chips, plain noodles, and prawn crackers with an Eaton brew? What the fuck is that? How do you get French fries with the rice? That's weird to me. Is this common in the UK? My bad, chips. Is this common? Like, this is literally all carbs. Noodles, rice, and then fucking french fries. Where is the protein? You guys have no protein here? Okay, well, you know, to, I mean, to each their own. You guys are, you're literally just eating nothing but carbs here. You need loads of salt on a... salt in the noodles? You salt in the noodles and the rice? Ah, oh, damn, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is this thing? What is this white container? What is that? Mayonnaise? Damn, bro! It's crazy! Come on! Oh my god, no. Dude, that's, this, that woman is insane. That woman is literally insane. I, I think in her entire day, I don't think she knows how to cook food. I think that the only sustenance she can actually get is if somebody came over her house and threw, like, an actual chicken in her mouth. Because, like, I've not seen this woman actually eat real food. I mean, granted, this is real food, but she can only get it from outside sources. Does she not have an oven or a place to reside her food and, 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 and put some delicacies together? It's not that hard. There's, you have the internet, obviously. You're using your phone to upload on TikTok. Okay, whatever. And then you know what I don't understand, too? Look at this right here. Is this... This is a this is a Chinese, huh? Where, why does Chinese food incorporate French fries? I've never seen that. So what I love about this, right? You need loads of salt on a Chinese. Why do you guys call Chinese food a Chinese? That doesn't even make sense. You guys created the language and you use it in the most improper way possible. On a Chinese? On an Indian? Okay, all right, dude. You know what we say here in America if we get Chinese food? Just like that. Hey, bro, you want some Chinese food? You want you want to go out and get some Chinese? We'll get some Chinese, dude. You want to get some Chinese food? I know a place down the block. Let's go get some Chinese food. That's what we're saying. We're not saying you want to go get a Chinese. That doesn't even make sense. But all right, whatever, man. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just weird. But as we watch a woman literally salt, salting noodles and rice. And gummy bears, salt and vinegar, crisp. Your diet is insane, dude. And that's a whole soda. That's a whole soda. And I mean whole as in like it's a full sugar soda. It's not diet. That shit is literally a full Pepsi. I would love to see this woman's salt intake. It's got to be four times what it is in a day, bro. That shit is probably moving bricks through her veins. Oh my God, no. I know I said I wasn't drinking again, but for some reason... See, I this guy right here, man, he, he actually hurts me a lot, dude. Because he constantly... He always preferences with I went I went out drinking again and it was crazy so I had to get a mackies. This is the guy. It's, and now I'm regretting it. If you don't. Ooh, damn, dude. Ooh, that dude at the McDonald's he was having a little bit of a good time no, with your food, I know I man. Said I wasn't drinking again, but for some reason I did. And now I'm somebody busted some. It. Damn, that dude. Whoever made this sandwich is crazy, dude. Damn. Whoever made this sandwich is one of two things. They killed it with the mayo or he had a good time with your sandwich. I knew, listen, okay. I knew a woman. This is why, this is one of the reasons why I'll never eat at Burger King, right? Two, I have two people that I met. I had one dude literally tell me he slid his dick across a woman's sandwich because that woman was being mad, like really, really upsetting to him. So he went to the back. I'm not playing with you. I'm, I'm literally not playing with you. He actually told me this. I went to school with this dude. And he used to work at BK. I don't know what he's doing now because I stopped talking to him. Obviously, this man's a deplorable human being. But he said the woman was being really, really rude to him. And she had ordered like a Whopper or something like that. And he went back there to get her her Whopper. And he told me he whipped out his BBC and just went like this to that shit. Like he started slapping his BBC water on his fuck on her sandwich. And he was just sliding that shit. Like, a, you know what I'm talking about? And he... 
but ain't wrapped it up, gave it to that woman, and he just like, yeah, eat up, bitch. And he told me he was laughing about it. He was like, dude, I fucking real deal gave her my BBC in that sandwich, bro. <laughs> and I was like, dude, that's wow, man. Um, do you ever do that? Like, you know, I hate that run. So he was like, yeah, bro, I never do that to you, bro. You cool. Like, obviously, I wasn't questioning whether or not you put, I mean, I hope, man. The point I'm making is that's one of the reasons why I'm never going to eat a, B, B, a fucking a BK ever again, dude. I mean, obviously, it's not because solely because that dude, I thought he's going to be like manifesting in behind the counter and, you know, spraying his BBC water on my, you know, burger or whatever. Uh, but just because like that's a dirty establishment. You know, I remember one time I walked into that same Burger King and it was an Indian man stacking the lids on top of the cups. And that dude just he, he fucking fell on the floor, right? And instead of taking the lids and tossing them out, that dude, so he looked at me. Right, he looked at me like this. It fell on the floor, and he looked at me like this. He smiled at me, and then looked back at the floor and started stacking them back up and putting them into the fucking holders. And I looked at that dude like, bro, damn, you even gonna put the good ones on the top first? Whatever, man. You know, uh, there's nothing better than sucking down your Coca Cola with a little bit of foot water. If you don't like seeing fat people eat a lot of food, skip this video. The first thing you've got to have on a hangover is a Mackey's. Apparently, they got to have a Mackey's. you got to have a Mackey's on a, a hangover. Taking chicken legend off the menu. Damn, this dude, man. <sighs> this dude is on some different shit. I, I don't know how many times I looked upon this man with pure disgust in my eyes. This man, real deal, got the... Oh, how many patties? One, two, three, four. Five patties on that. Damn, bro. You killing that shit. Five of them things? Do they even make that? I feel like you got to know somebody to make this. You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you talk to somebody behind the counter, like, yo, let me get a double cheese. Let me get a double cheese. Let me get a regular cheese. And that person go, yep, yep, yep. And you go, listen. Ugh, can you just put that all on one burger? That dude behind the counter going to be like, what'd you just say? What? Put it all on one burger? Who are you? You want that? Damn. Um, I mean, sure, I guess. But are you sure? Like, you plan on living past today? Five on one burger, dude? What 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 is the capacity? What is how uh, well how much storage you got in your mouth? Damn, bro. Five patties on one burger, dude? Damn. And they're not even quality patties, too. These shits is like I mean the McDonald's patties. You know what they are like, man. Everybody knows what they're like, but this is gross. And you so I add one just in case. Hold up. One, two, three. This actually might be six patties, bro. This actually might be six patties. I'm not lying to you. Because, like, look about this, right? One, two, three, guaranteed. Four, five, right? But there might be one just hiding. That shit might have just slipped right underneath the other meat. Damn, bro. This dude, real deal, about to get more meat than a BBC gangbang, dude. This is too far. Damn, bro. But I needed something beefy. So I had two triple cheeseburgers. Two? 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 You had two of them things? Two triple cheeseburgers. Ah, oh, man. I was right. I was right. There's six patties on this thing. Six. Six. How you have six? That's like, you know what that's like? That's like talking to a girl and she goes, oh, you know, I kind of have a high body count. And you go, oh, you know, that's not too bad. You know, you know, we, we all have moments in our lives where we do something crazy. And she goes, yeah, but I got them all last night. And you go, what? What do you mean last night? Like, I went to a fucking BBC extravaganza. There was black guys everywhere. And I was just being tossed around. I was being thrown around. You know, whatever. Wife me. Wife me up. Wife me up. And I'm like, oh, my God. You know, that's, that's uh, you know, that's a little bit crazy. That's what it's like here. Like, it's fine if you want to eat some burgers every once in a while. You want to have a burger once a week. You want to have a burger twice a week. All right. Why are you throwing that shit all in your mouth at one time, bro? That's crazy. And stuck it together. Damn, bro, that shit didn't even look good. This is too far, but I needed something beefy. So I let me look at that shit. Two triple cheese. Can I see that shit. Burgers and stuck it. Damn, bro. <sighs> Damn, that shit don't even look good. Damn, dude. Oof. <sighs> I feel like I'd rather eat a woman. I'd I'd rather eat a woman's vagina on a yeast infection than this. Together, added extra cheese on them both. And extra, you, you did not. You know what's crazy about this man, dude? How the fuck you gonna go to McDonald's, order the food, create your own concoction, and be like, it's not really enough. I'm gonna probably need to throw more cheese on it. So at that point, you might as well just stay at home and just make a really big, thick burger because you're just adding stuff onto. Like you're creating your own concoction at that point. The fact that you went home with the burger and then you stacked on extra cheese on it as if it didn't need it, like, dude, that 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 thing literally each one of those had cheese, right? Dude, you, you know what, bro? 
What's wrong with you, man? What is this angle? What are you doing at this angle? Yo, it was so good. It's when not, you hung no. over, you just need something cold. I stopped at the service station and got a nice blast. You it know was... what I do when I need something cold in my mouth? I get water or like ice and I start chewing on ice. This dude said I need something cold in my mouth and went to <laughs> went to a 7-Eleven, got a Slurpee, which are like 500 calories, by the way. State of me. This was just after I was sick. I needed something cheesy, but not- How you gonna be sick? Dude, what is wrong with you? What is that? What is it? What is this? This looks like some really bad skin grafts. Little cheesy. Lot of cheesy. You're putting cheese on top of the cheese that you just put cheese on? Dude, this shit is dehydrated, dude. Look how look how dry that shit is, bro. You want crunchy noodles? Since I made that cottage pie. What are you doing? In it, I haven't stopped thinking about Why are you putting cheese on top of this, dude? What is that? Why how can you do this? How can you make food so, how can you make food that's traditionally delicioso and make it look so gross? You're putting cheese balls on top of, all right, man, whatever, dude, dude live your life. I mean, it ain't gonna be too long. It's a baby bow, and I'm gonna show More you More cheese, now. bro? What is this guy, Airsoft Fatty? What is this guy doing? Exactly why it slaps. Look at that. Dude, oh man, dude, there's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> Yo, what is this? The noodles are so dry. You gonna bite into that in here crunching, and that's not gonna be the noodles, it's gonna be your teeth. Heavenly. You got a different definition of heavenly. That's just not even melted. Dude. If you leave this out for more than 10 minutes, all this cheese is gonna be fermented. Cheese pole is to die for. It's not even good. It's just... I'm salivating just looking at You're that. Salivating? It literally never ended. A never ending cheese pull. Oh, oh my damn, god. Dude. The pasta was good too, but damn. the cheese, 10 out of 10. Damn. Obviously, I had to have some meat. Mayonnaise! With it too. Nah, yo, this, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. We can't. I gotta skip this guy. This guy, <laughs> I don't know what's up with this dude. Adding mayonnaise. This gotta be a UK thing. You guys gotta do something about this. Do you guys know, like, if where this guy goes to work or something? You guys, somebody can talk to him and tell him that this is not natural. Just making, like, a literally cheese on top of cheese on top of dehydrated noodles and then just coating that shit with mayonnaise, dude? That's not normal. This dish has gotta be, like, 40,000 calories, man. He literally just stuffed a six patty burger in his throat and then washed it down with a slurpee and then went home to finish himself off with some i don't even know what this is this like cheese concoction with mayonnaise on top dude this ain't normal this is unnatural this shit will put you in jail and i was craving a chocolate milkshake i went in the what, how are you going to show me i'm sorry dude this shit this dude had me on my back bro this shit had me on my fucking back, bro. This dude's real deal body slamming an entire thing of cheese on top of cheese with the mayonnaise and then goes, I got, I, you know what? Like, I probably need a chocolate milk too. Yeah, that is some pure obesity if you're sitting there eating that shit while you're thinking about some chocolate milk. Obviously, I had to have some mayo with it too. Bang in. I was craving a chocolate milkshake. I went in the shop the other day and seen these. A milkshake machine. I dragged my ass down there. Best believe I got one. Look, Yo, this guy has too much money. Sometimes I think that money is the problem. I think that if you have, because I know if, when I was poor, right, I see a lot of rich people sometimes doing stuff and then they die, right? Sometimes you go on a news or sometimes you see something on a headline like, oh, rich guy dies because he wins, you know, he was ice skating on top of, uh, he was ice skating up in Alaska and there was polar bears that were trying to eat him and then they ate him and then he, you know, he died. And I go, see, it's a good idea that I'm poor, you know, like, I, pff, can you imagine if I had money? And then I was like thinking about, you know, ice skating next to polar bears or something. It's a good, sometimes you have, it's a good idea not to have money, right? Because I knew a dude, he just used to give money to girls, right? Girls that weren't even his girl. Like he would take them on dates, he would buy them stuff, and he would get nothing out of it. Like women, they would literally give him nothing. And I'd be like, bro, why you take all these women out on dates? Why you do this? Oh, bro, because I love her. She's so cool. She's so this and that. And he'll go, I just gave this girl $400. And I was like, what for what? Oh. Uh, you know, she said she needed, she had a car payment and I just really care about her. So I gave her a car payment, but she hasn't talked to me in three days. So I don't know if, um, I don't know when I'm going to talk to her next. And then that would just be a constant cycle. Sometimes having money is not good given that you have poor spending habits. Now, granted, he might not have poor spending habits in the correlation to the money that he has. Like if he's making a million dollars and only spending like a thousand dollars a day, probably not a month, probably not a lot, but still, that shit adds up. And it, when it, like when I see people like Amber Lynn, for instance, it's the same thing. Like when they have money, I don't think they know what to do with it. So they just kind of spend it. 
McDonald's milkshake. Who? Prawn cocktail crisps. Lovely. And a pepperami. Banging. When Banging. I woke up this morning, I actually craved this cheese and tomato pasta from Tesco. Couldn't stop thinking about it all. This, this guy, I don't think he's gay. I think he has a wife or something like that, but sometimes I think he's gay. Okay. So late at night, I slipped to balls Tesco in your mouth? and bought the pasta. Mmm. Yo, you guys got to do something about this, man. This is gross. Are you guys, you guys really have like SpaghettiOs that you guys can just buy in plastic covers at at gas stations is this real did he not did he just make this right now is this is that real is this real do you guys have spaghettios that you sell in gas stations banging feel severely severely hungover i just need sleep you didn't even drink how you gonna feel hungover and you didn't even drink you spent the entire day body slamming thousands of calories for the quest of alleviating your hangover and it didn't even alleviate the hangover Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I'm going to have a couple more snacks. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out. I thought the day was over. I thought he was going to send him ass. I thought he was going to send his ass to sleep, dude. I thought that shit was about to KO him. But nah, he's still going. Philadelphia light. It was so creamy. As if one meal deal wasn't enough. Damn, bro. Yo, this guy's different. He did get two. Cheese and onion sandwich. Damn, so dude, why are you buying pre-made sandwiches? Viable. You know what you're getting every time, and it never lets you down. Mars milkshake to finish that's off it. the night. We're looking at dogs tomorrow. So what do you, you, you can't say like, yeah, that's it for the night, and then show me some milk. Dude, what is up with this guy? What am I missing something right now? Like the fact that this guy keeps going like that's all, that's all we're having tonight. Anyway, so I just had to go get this other thing before we ended the night. I'm still not hungover. See you all later. Dude, you can't. That's not how did you not just say that? I swear I just heard him go, yeah, that's it for the night. And then just bring up two more foods that he that he body Green slammed. Sandwich. It's so reliable. You know what you're getting every time. And it never lets you down. Mars milkshake to finish off the night. To Mars milkshake. Is this not the milkshake? Mars milkshake to finish off the night. When you finish off the night, usually when somebody says finish off, it's done. Like you finish somebody off. You just suck the guy off. He's done. You just finished off your meal. It's done. Whatever. You can't be like, I just finished off the night and then body slam some. What was that like? We're looking at dogs tomorrow. Dude, you can't. You can't. You can't do that. You, you, you're breaking the law. So I hope I'm still not hungover. See you all like. And then you had a bag of sun chips. <sighs> okay. Ta -ta -na. Thank God. What I eat in a day is a disgusting fat person who is very hungover after a birthday. So I did actually have some toast when I first woke up, but then I fell asleep and I had a Mackey's and then I had a few mouthfuls of this cake. But a few mouthfuls is insane, dude. That's all relative too, by the way. If you got that big enlarged mouth, that shit could really, that could, that could really mean a lot. And to top it off, bro, a mouthful of this cake could easily be the entire cake. Let's be honest for a second. You ever, when I was a kid, what I used to do is I used to grab bread and I would take a few pieces, like two or three, maybe four pieces. And I would take it out go like this. I would just go like that. And I would just go, put it in my mouth. You can eat four slices, five slices of bread. One bite, one bite, no problem. Try to do that shit without smushing it up like that. It's pretty hard. Now, when somebody says, I can, I'm going to body slam just a few, a few mouthfuls, that could literally just mean like the entire thing. So anyway, I fell asleep and I had a Mackey's and then I had a few mouthfuls of this cake, but it Dude, wasn't as nice as I thought shit. it was going to be. And then I had a handful of pretzels later on. And then a I handful also is relative, man. When you got that big ass Shaquille O'Neal hand, that shit's going to be a lot. Slept for like That's the five, big ass pretzels. <laughs> so then when I got back up, we oh ordered Domino's and had some of the chicken nuggets and then <clears> about <throat> half of a vegan pizza. So while I'm here, I just want to say thank you for only half, followers. Huh? Only and half of the vegan pizza? Good job. Good job. And also to the lads. Yeah, true. Thank thank everybody for the 2,000 followers, dude. While they're watching you slowly but surely find your demise while eating copious amounts of fast food. Um, a, I'm not looking for your unwanted advice. You can't... You know, these people are just some... You can't post something like this and then not expect people to watch it and go, What the fuck? Damn, you doing something crazy! You, you, so you don't want people to tell you that you're doing something wrong. I get it. You know, you, sometimes when somebody says or you said something wrong and somebody enlightens you of that thing, maybe you don't like it because you don't like criticism. But, uh, dude, um, maybe, hear me out, when somebody sees you body slamming that mouthfuls of cake and, uh, you know, a vegan pizza, 
maybe you look at the comments real quick and see somebody go, oh my God, I can't believe this woman's even still walking right now. This woman literally, I just added it up. It had to have been 5,000 cows a day. Maybe you look at that and go, huh, maybe, that, you know, maybe that's a good point. Maybe, um, you know, maybe I take some pointers from that. You know what I'm talking about? That's like being in a porn and the director goes, fill up your mouth a little bit more. You got more capacity. Go ahead. Go all in. You got it. I know you got it. You're going to take some hints. You're going to be like, oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Right? In the same way that somebody says something to you, maybe, maybe it's got some validity. Maybe. Not everybody on the internet's bad. Um, and I don't give a fuck if you think I'm disgusting. So. Damn, dude. This woman is on some different shit. Go ahead. You know, you know what, bro? Do whatever you want. Right? Do whatever you want. You don't care. That's fine. It's going to be a little bit weird. You know, given the fact that people are going to comment on this, but all right. Hey, bye. I love you. Yeah, you, you guys got some different shit going on, man. You guys got some different shit. Greg's roll in sausage with brown sauce and hot chocolate. I can't do it. I can't do it. We'll make a part two to this video. We'll make a part two. I can't watch this shit. I can't. There's the, you guys have some the weirdest concoctions of food. And I saw people here in America making eggs with grease like just pouring in canola oil and then having the the oil literally boil the eggs and sausage and things like that i saw a woman literally drinking canola oil i don't know if you guys ever saw that video i saw a woman put fucking butter on pizza and i'm like damn this is crazy here in america people are really obese but then i look over to the uk i see over the pond and i'm like dude you guys damn you guys you guys real deal are running us up you know, sometimes I think that we, America, we do it the best when it comes to obesity. You guys might have us beat in like a few years. You know, if I'm going to be honest with you, dude, once I see those numbers, those real numbers of the deaths over there based off obesity, you guys might take the cake on that. No pun intended. I mean, it's not something that I would really rep. You know, it's not something I'm, I'm sitting here going like, oh, yeah, it's such a great thing that, I, you know, it's not something good. But at least it's, you know, it's, I guess it's something you can celebrate. You know, it's something you win, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's not something I would celebrate, but whatever you guys want to do. Uh, my shoulder hurts or like my collarbone hurts right now. I don't know why. Um, I'll stretch it out in a little bit after this video. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all of those things I'd appreciate tremendously. I want to thank everybody that's a member. Thank you for becoming a member. If you want to become a member, you can click the subscribe button, which I'd appreciate. And then hitting the join button right after that. If you don't want to, though, that's fine, too. It's completely fine. Um, thank you though, if you are a member and taking the commitment and being a part of me for the rest of your life. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, I want to thank everybody that's a subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. I truly care about you and I probably will worship you till the day you die, which will probably be forever since I plan on making everybody here immortal at some point so we can all spend our beautiful lives together, together. Um, anyway, if you watch the video in its entirety and, or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in bone, B-O-N-E. Um, bones are awesome. They're cool. They're beautiful things in your body that move and, and help you, uh, organize yourself. I don't know. Bones are cool. I think they're cool. And you have a lot of them, right? And you know, I got more than, you know, more than most, if you know what I'm talking about, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh man. It's like really tight. It's like really tight right now. Only when I put it down like this though. So I maybe I'll just like spend the whole day going like this. I'll just be like a fuck boy, you know? Anyway. Um, you're a beautiful person. I love the way that you organize your finances and make sure that you can pay your bills every single month and you make sure that you have enough to take care of yourself and the people around you. That's really, really beautiful. There's nothing more attractive to another person than somebody being responsible. Unless you're one of those weird people that looks for somebody that's like, I don't know, on the street and homeless and they can't like take care of themselves and things like that. Those, those people do exist. But even in those scenarios, I do believe you're a beautiful person. You're a beautiful, amazing, responsible, awesome person, especially because of that weight loss that you've done or that weight gain that you've done in the sense of like building that big, beautiful, bulky physique, that being a muscle mommy or a muscle daddy to ensure that you're beautiful forever. Good job, by the way. Really good job. Anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. I'm almost a thousand followers on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, um, second channel. They'll all be linked in the description of this video and the description of the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.